And the championship games are set. Who's in it? This guy. Against TD Racing. What? If you go back, check this out. I just want to show you something. Well, I can't really show you. Let me go back to 2013. Because that was last year. In 2013, I got some interesting news for you. I had a record of 3 and 11. And TD Racing had a record of 4 and 10. That's right. We were the two worst teams in the league. Um, guess what? We're both in the championship game. Pound it, Tom. Bam! Me and you, championship bound. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> and just to let you know, Robert, I beat Old Influence. But not only did I beat in Old Influence this week, if you would have beat Old Influence last week, I would have beat you too this week. Yep, that's right. I don't care if it was you or Old Influence. I would have beat you both. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> so anyway, Tom... Tom has been on a roller coaster this year. Not a roller coaster. He's been pretty much going up that roller coaster the whole time. He's been on Wago. His record this year is, what are you, 12? 12 and 3 now? I think you're 12 and 3. And I somehow am also, no, I'm 11 and 4. So you got one game up on me. That's all right. I am playing you. And I can't wait to play you because I'm in the championship game. I don't know the last time I've been in the championship game in this league. It's been a while because I usually have been tanking this league. I'm just ecstatic I'm in this in the, in the championship game. It's so exciting. I don't know what to say. Anyway, um, I was kind of kind of scared because I was only up by 60 points going into tonight's Monday night game, and he had Drew Brees, which, by the way, when did you switch that? Because I was looking all morning, and you had Ben Roethlisberger in there the whole time. And next thing I know, I check at like 1 or 2 o'clock, and it said Drew Brees. I was like, when did you do that? I was like, dang it. So anyway, if you would have left Ben Roethlisberger in there, I was get, I was kind of excited because he only got 25 points. I was like, ooh, I'm up by 40 points, and I got two receivers left. And, yeah, you got Forte and Ingram, but I think I could hold that on. But you switched it to Drew Brees sometime, and you had Brees, Ingram, and, and T, uh, Brees, Forte, and Ingram. Versus Mike Kenny Stills and and uh, Marquise Colston. And I'm like, oh, here we go again. Just like uh, what was it, week 14 or week? Yeah, it was week 14, I think, where I played you. And it was the same thing. You started Breeze, and I had those two guys, and I beat you then. And I barely hung on, hung on, but I beat you tonight too. Thank you. I felt good. <laughs> I can't help it. It felt good to beat you because your team is so freaking amazing. I mean, you have you have like the toughest team. I mean, it's like Josh's team last year. Josh had one of those teams last year that was like, wow, your team is sick. And this year, your team your team is sick. I mean, Drew Brees, Le'Veon Bell, Matt Forte, and Mark Ingram has been, like, on fire, too. But then you got T.Y. Hilton, Emmanuel Sanders, and your receivers, Golden Tate, Sammy Watkins, who's been kind of up and down. But Golden Tate, that's kind of hard to sit Golden Tate when you got those weapons, but you got to play the team. I would have played that exact lineup you started because all those players should have done really well. The only one that choked for you, which I was so glad, T.Y. Hilton finally had a bad week. And I think that's what got, well, I mean, Forte had a dismal game compared to his 25 pointers. So he lost you 10 points. But seeing the Rams defense only get you two against the Cardinals, I was so shocked. And then when my kicker got me 17, I was like, holy cow, we're off to a good start. <laughs> anyway, uh, your team, though, it's like an all-star Pro Bowl team, like that entire roster. I love Travis Kelsey. And he even did good for you, too. That is, I can't, like I said, I can't get over that team. Your team is sick. And I beat it twice now. I think you killed me the first time we met, but I beat you twice, basically, in three weeks. That's so awesome. I am so stoked right now. I <laughs> can't help it. TD Racing, you pretty much had your way with Arkham Fugitive. 147 to 106. So, you had your way, and now it's me versus you. The Toilet Bowl is going to be interesting. 
Mark, 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 Mark. When you picked up Manziel, I mean, I, are you trying to be the hero guy? Because, I mean, Manziel sucks. I, I don't. I know he sucked that week, but I mean, I hate Manziel from college, and I knew he was going to suck. But you had Philip Rivers on your bench going against Denver. Now, mind you, yeah, Philip Rivers still had a horrible game. I understand. But how do you not just leave uh, Philip Rivers against the Broncos that you figure they're going to have to throw a lot? It wouldn't have won you the game. Don't get me wrong. You would have lost by 10 or 15 still. But then the other one was you had Matt Asiata on the bench. He's like their starting running back. I would have definitely played Asiata over either one of those backs you had, Chris Ivory or Steven Jackson. And that, my friend, might have gave you the win. The rest of your players, yeah, I wouldn't have started any of the other guys, but I think what killed you is having Julio Jones out. That, that obviously, obviously, that did kill you. And Ryan Matthews not playing. Yeah, that obviously killed you too. But Cobra Kai, you're going on to go to the Toilet Bowl champion, and you're going against Travis, the weakling weaklings, who's got a pretty interesting team. I call him the team of misfits because C.J. Anderson and Joyke Bell are technically backups, but they're playing the starting role now. And I've never been a – Russell Wilson is such an enigma, but he's got a game this week that he could really blow up. And then Eddie Lacy, Antonio Brown, and Mike Evans, yeah, they're true studs. So your team is prime for a, a pretty good – oh, my God, you had Julian Edelman on the bench? You had Julian Edelman on the bench. What would you do? God, well, you do have a tough decision because you got three running backs that you should always start, and then you got three receivers to start. Actually, for you. and you got Fred Jackson. Oh my gosh, you got too many tough decisions, Travis. I don't, I don't envy that. I'm glad you have Russell Wilson and not me because I can't stand playing that guy, even though he's usually good. Um, hey Craig, I just want to let you know you scored 140. 44 points this week uh, for, you know, just being there. That's pretty good for a team that sucks. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, uh, Toilet Bowl, or not Toilet Bowl. So your Toilet Bowl is going to be uh, Josh versus Travis. And third place game is Steve versus Mike. And then me versus Tom. Uh, the Pickums are really, this is going to be an interesting last week of Pickums. Robert has a one-point lead, and that's with me and Josh right behind him at that one-point deficit. One-point lead, Robert. Can you hold on, or are, we, are, are you going to let us come back and tie you, or maybe one of us will even beat you? That'd be nice. Anyway, uh, good luck to everyone. It's been a great year. Uh, don't forget there's a Saturday game as well as your Thursday game. There are two Saturday games, so make sure your players are in the right spots. If you pick up a player, don't forget to start them. I've had some issues in another league, and uh, they're blaming me for it. I'm like, you're the one that picked them up. It says in the rules you got to start them, and I've been reminding you all this time, and they're having hissy fit about it. Anyway, sorry. So have a good week, everyone, and I hope I can – Raise my two fists in the air. Enjoy next week. No offense, Tom, but, you know, I want to win. Don't you? But I want to win more than you. All right. Have a good one.